Hello, hello, welcome, welcome to day 71 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. We are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right. Just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. We're excited to have you here. Let's get started. Day 71, March 12th. 2022 365 days bible reading old testament leviticus 25 leviticus 26 1 to 13 new testament mark 16 1 to 20 psalms and proverbs psalm 33 verse 1 to 11 Old Testament and Navy version, Leviticus 25, 1 to 55, the Sabbath year. The Lord said to Moses at Mount Sinai, speak to the Israelites and say to them, when you enter the land, I am going to give you the land itself must observe a Sabbath to the Lord. For six years, sow your fields and for six years, prune your vineyard and gather their crops. But in the seventh year, the land is to have a year of Sabbath rest, a Sabbath to the Lord. Do not sow your fields or prune your vineyard. Do not reap what grows of itself or harvest the grapes of your untended vines. The land is to have a year of rest. Whatever the land yields during the Sabbath year will be food for you, for yourself, your male and female servants, and the hired worker and temporary resident will live among you, as well as for your livestock and the wild animals in your land. Whatever the land produces may be eaten. The year of Jubilee, count of seven Sabbath years, seven times seven years, so that the seven Sabbath years amount to a period of 49 years. Then have the trumpet sounded everywhere on the 10th day of the seventh month on the day of atonement. Sound the trumpet throughout your land. Consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. Each of you is to return to your family property and to your own clan. The 50th year shall be a jubilee for you. Do not sow and do not reap what grows of itself or harvest the untended vines, for it is a jubilee and is to be holy for you. Eat only what is taken directly from the fields. In this year of Jubilee, everyone is to return to their own property. If you sell land to any of your own people or buy land from them, do not take advantage of each other. You are to buy from your own people on the basis of the number of years since the Jubilee. And they are to sell to you on the basis of the number of years left for harvesting crops. When the years are many, you are to increase the price. And when the years are few, you are to decrease the price. Because what is really being sold to you is the number of crops. Do not take advantage of each other, but fear your God. I am the Lord, your God. Follow my decrees and be careful to obey my laws, and you will live safely in the land. Then the land will yield its fruits, and you will eat your fill and live there in safety. You may ask, what will we eat in the seventh year if we do not plant or harvest our crops. I will send you such a blessing in the sixth year that the land will yield enough for three years. Hallelujah. While you plant during the eighth year, you will eat from the old crop and will continue to eat from it until the harvest of the ninth year comes in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wow. The land must not be sold permanently because the land is mine and you reside in my land as foreigners and strangers. Throughout the land that you hold as a possession, you must provide for the redemption of the land. If one of your fellow Israelites becomes poor and sells some of their property, their nearest relatives, relative is to come and redeem what they have sold. 
If, however, there is no one to redeem it for them, but later on they prosper and acquire sufficient means to redeem it themselves, they are to determine the value for the years since they sold it and refund the balance to the one to whom they sold it. They can go back to their own property. But if they do not acquire the means to repay, what was sold will remain in the possession of the buyer until the year of Jubilee. It will be returned in the Jubilee and they can go back to their property. Anyone who sells a house in a walled city retains the right to redemption, the right of redemption a full year after its sale. During that time, the seller may redeem it. If it is not redeemed before a full year has passed, the house in the world city shall become permanently to shall belong permanently to the buyer and the buyer's descendants. It is not to be returned in the jubilee, but houses in villages without walls around them are to be considered as belonging to the open country. They can be redeemed and they are to be returned in the jubilee. The Levites always have the right to redeem their houses in the Levitical towns which they possess. So the property of the Levites is redeemable. That is, a house sold in any town they hold and is to be returned in the Jubilee because the houses in the towns of the Levites are their property among the Israelites. But the pasture land belonging to their towns must not be sold. It is their permanent possession. If any of your fellow Israelites become poor and are unable to support themselves among you, help them as you would a foreigner and stranger, so they can continue to live among you. Do not take interest or any profit from them, but fear your God, so that they may continue to live among you. You must not lend them money at interest or sell them food at a profit. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt to give you the land of Canaan and to be your God. If any of your fellow Israelites become poor and sell themselves to you, do not make them work as slaves. They are to be treated as hired workers or temporary residents among you. They are to work for you until the year of Jubilee. Then, they and their children are to be released and they will go back to their own clans and to the property of their ancestors. Because the Israelites are my servants whom I brought out of Egypt, they must not be sold as slaves. Do not rule over them ruthlessly, but fear your God. Your male and female slaves are to come from the nations around you. From them you may buy slaves. You may also buy some of the temporary residents living among you and members of their clans born in your country, and they will become your property. You can bequeath them to your children as inherited property and can make them slaves for, for life. But you must not rule over your fellow Israelites ruthlessly. If a foreigner residing among you becomes rich and any of your fellow Israelites become poor and they and sell themselves to the foreigner or to a member of the foreigner's clan, they retain the right of redemption after they have sold themselves. One of their relatives may redeem them, an uncle or a cousin, or any blood relative in their clan may redeem them. If Or if they prosper, they may redeem themselves. They and their buyer are to count the time from the year they sold themselves up to the year of Jubilee. The price for their release is to be based on the rate paid to a hired worker for that number of years. If many years remain, they must pay for their redemption a larger share of the price paid for them. If only a few years remain until the year of Jubilee, they are to compute that and pay for their redemption accordingly. They are to be treated as workers hired from year to year. You must see to it that those to whom they owe service do not rule over them ruthlessly. Even if someone is not redeemed in any of these ways, they and their children are to be released in the year of Jubilee. For the Israelites belong to me as servants. They are my servants whom I brought out of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. 
Leviticus 26, 1 to 13. Reward for obedience. Do not make idols or set up an image or a sacred stone for yourselves and do not place a carved stone in your land to bow down before it. I am the Lord your God. Observe my Sabbath and have reverence for my sanctuary. I am the Lord if you follow my decrees and are careful to be to obey my commands, I will send you rain in its season and the ground will yield its crop and the trees bear fruit. Your threshing will continue until grape harvest and the grape harvest will continue until planting and you will eat all the food you want and live in safety in your land. I will grant peace in the land and you will lie down and no one will make you afraid. I will remove wild beasts from the land and the sword will not pass through your country. You will pursue your enemies and they will fall by the sword before you. Five of you will chase a, th a hundred and a hundred of you will chase 10,000 and your enemies will fall by the sword before you. I will look on you with favor and make you fruitful and increase your numbers. And I will keep my covenant with you. Glory to God. You will still be eating last year's harvest. And when you will have to move it out to make room. Sorry, I'll take that again. You will still be eating last year's harvest when you will have to move it out to make room for the new. Glory to God. I will put my dwelling place among you and I will not abhor you. I will walk among you and be your God and you will be my people. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out of Egypt so that you would no longer be slaves to the Egyptians. I broke the bars of your yoke and enabled you to walk with heads held high. Hallelujah. Wow. New Testament. NIV version, Mark 16, 1 to 20. Jesus has arisen. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Salome brought spices to so that they might go to anoint Jesus's body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb and they asked each other, who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right hand, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene who was crucified. He has reason. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter. He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. The earliest manuscripts and some other ancient witnesses do not have verses 9 to 20. When Jesus rose early on the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had driven seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him and who were mourning and weeping. When they heard that Jesus was alive and that she had seen him, they did not believe it. Afterward, Jesus appeared in a different form to two of them while they were walking in the country. These returned and reported it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven as they were eating. He rebuked them for their lack of faith and their stubborn refusal to believe those who had seen him after he had risen. He said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons and they will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes with their hands and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people and they will get well. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
After the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and he sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere and the Lord worked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Hallelujah. Wow. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 33, verse 1 to 11. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to him on the ten-stringed lair. Sing to him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, their starry host by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere him. For he spoke and it came to be. He commanded and it stood firm. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of his heart through all generations. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you been blessed? Wow, I've been amazingly blessed today. Glory to God. Please, if you're here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, it will be my honor to lead you in this amazing miracle of salvation. Just go ahead and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayers. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said that prayer, please go ahead and send us a message. Someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new faith walk. Wow, 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 wow. Have you been blessed today? Today's readings were just amazing. Thank you so much for hanging around with me. It's always a pleasure to have you on this journey. I'm always excited to see how much you're growing, how much you're committed to this journey. I just want to encourage you stay on the course. It is worth it. Please, if you haven't yet done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Yes, like our post, share with your friends, families, and loved ones. Increase their engagement. Let people know you're, you know, we are committed to this together. I'm always excited when I see you, you comment on our post. When I see you engaging, it's always encouraging as well. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. And I will see you tomorrow for another amazing time in God's word. Have a blessed day today. Bye.